Hi, I'm Ilyasa Mohammed, and my project is about the socialist realism movement in Russia. Here is a brief history of communism in Russia. The Bolshevik Revolution of 1917 was led by Lenin. His party was called the Bolshevik Communist Party. During this revolution, Russia, a country that was previously ruled by male monarchs for 350 years, became a communist nation. The goal of communism in Russia was to live in a classless society with equality among the rich, which were called the bourgeois, and the common man, which was called the proletariat. This was a political system that the poor obviously supported, but those with wealth didn't, as many of them had gained wealth through ties to the royal family or by exploiting the poor class. In addition, the economic success of the Western world and capitalism threatened the basics of the nation that Lenin was trying to build. As a result, the arts of the previous monarchy were denounced along with the arts that reflected Western ideas and used techniques similar to Western art. Socialist realism was declared the official form of art expression of the Soviet Union by Stalin in 1932. It was heavily rooted in communist ideals and its basic purpose was to glorify Soviet leaders and the Bolshevik party. It was also used to spread propaganda that supported the party and frowned upon its enemies to the West. Even though it was officially declared the mandatory form of art expression in, by Stalin, it had been practiced as soon as Russia transitioned from a monarchy to a communist nation. In fact, Lenin had personally rewrote sections of a play by one of his favorite playwrights to make it more agreeable to communist ideals. This is an example of naturalism, an art form that was not supported by the party at all. In fact, it caused many artists to be banned, persecuted, or executed. The party wanted art to depict a glorious communist future. They wanted bright colors and they wanted the viewer to feel inspired. This painting is Lenin and Smolny. It was painted by Brodsky in 1930. This picture shows Lenin sitting in a room with a sofa, a chair, and seats covered with white sheets. The colors are neutral and bland and nothing is bright at all. A viewer of this picture doesn't feel inspired. They don't feel inspired by the revolution or communism at all. In fact, you feel a bit down and feel like Lenin's very sad. Kuzma petrov Opkin was a prominent Soviet artist whose art emulated the style of socialist realism. His painting on the left is titled Bathing of the Red Horse. It was painted in 1912 as the stirrings of the Bolshevik Revolution had just begun. In this picture, a male figure is riding atop a blood red horse in a lake. The red horse is referred to as the horse of revolution and symbolizes the upcoming revolution and the strength of it. In addition, the horse usually symbolizes the yearning for freedom. It should also be noted that this painting was completed before the fall of the monarchy, and there is a presence of classical Greek techniques, as the figure is seen unclothed and able-bodied, much like the Greeks revered the healthy physique. The painting on the left is titled Fantasia and was painted in 1925. All traces of classical influence are gone as a young man has now aged a little and is seen once again riding on top of the red horse. Only in this painting, the horse is flying above blue mountains in a small village. The horse in this painting directly reflects the success that Petrov Balkan felt that the Bolshevik Communist Party had achieved and continued to demonstrate in Russia. However, this painting could be regarded as propaganda as well, considering that Stalin had become ruler the year before. Stalin was the worst Soviet leader and would have a death toll that reached the millions. This painting is an example of what the party absolutely loved. This is Jerzy Mob's Stalin at the 18th Party Congress, which was painted in 1939. This painting shows the evolution of art during the socialist realist movement. Stalin is depicted as a benevolent ruler, almost fatherly. He has a lot of papers on his desk, he looks studious, and he is gesturing towards the crowd and almost smiling. Behind him are red and gold curtains with Russian letters. This picture portrays him in a way that says he is the father of Russia. He cares deeply for his people. Again, this could be regarded as propaganda by some. In fact, and quite ironically, the basis of socialist realism that depicted untrue sentiment by the people actually ensured the downfall of this art form and increased angry sentiment among the Soviets towards communism. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Russian art and history has always been of interest to me, so this was very fun.